10 years old, the movie School of Rock sparked my love of classic rock music and my Christmas wish for that year was my first electric guitar. That was where the journey started for me and now that I'm 18 years deep, I can tell you that there have been many bumps in the road with my guitar progress. And most of them were apparent between the ages of 13 to 18 when I was trying to escape what I call the Lost Intermediate Plateau a rut that almost every guitar player finds themselves stuck in, often for 10, 20, or even 30 plus years. Fortunately, I was eventually able to escape it, and for the past six years, I've been an online guitar educator, focusing on helping players break free from this same lost intermediate plateau. In this video, I'll outline the three main reasons why guitarists get stuck at an intermediate level. Stay tuned to the end for the most crucial tip I have for breaking out of this rut that will help you make progress again irrespective of how long you've been stuck there. Reason number one is the misbelief that in order to reach an advanced level, you have to study advanced material. What I've found from teaching intermediates over the years is that they often have good technical ability, they know some scales across the fretboard, they can play some of their favorite songs and solos, and maybe they can even improvise a little bit too, but not comfortably and not in all keys. So they lack a true understanding of the fretboard and of the language of music in general. If they can technically recite a solo from their favorite guitarist, they might not actually understand what it is that the guitarist was doing in terms of note choice, scales and harmony when they wrote or improvised that solo. But rather than take the necessary backward steps that they need to take in order to figure all of that out, they always look forward to ever more complex concepts and techniques because they tell themselves, well, I've been playing for five, 10, 15, 20 years. It would be a waste of my time to go back to the basics, like learning the major scale in a way that goes deeper than looking at it as merely a set of movable scale positions and patterns. By far the most common example of this happening that I see all the time is guitarists thinking that they're ready to learn the modes of the major scale when they haven't even got a foundational understanding of what the major scale is. What's its scale formula? What triads and chords can be built from its notes? How can it be used compositionally? How can I improvise with it? When would it be appropriate to improvise with it over certain chord progressions? They don't know any of this. They just know what it sounds like to mindlessly run up and down its seven notes all across the fretboard. You literally cannot develop an understanding of modes if you don't first understand the scale from which they are derived. So to summarize this point, intermediate guitar players often need to drop the ego, stop demonizing the basics that they've neglected to learn, forget about advanced material that they're not ready for, and drill those basics until they are second nature. Then, and only then, should you start to worry about things like modes. Before I get to reason number two, I am currently 953 subscribers away from hitting 200K on YouTube, so please, if you wanna help my channel to grow and reach more like-minded guitar players, clicking that subscribe button would help me in my quest to pull as many players as possible out of the Lost Intermediate Plateau. Reason number two for why intermediate players remain stuck for far too long is more to do with mindset than anything else. It is that they have accepted a lack of progress as their reality. If you've been playing for 30 plus years and you feel as though you haven't made significant progress for the past 25, it's completely understandable why somewhere along the line you might have built up a limiting belief that you tell yourself on a daily basis about why that is. I've not made progress for the past 25 years, so the next 10, 20, and 30 years are likely to be the same. There's no point in trying anymore. This is the way it's been. This is the way it's always going to be. No, it doesn't have to be that way. You alone have the power to shatter your limiting beliefs be they related to guitar playing or any other area of your life. Trust me, there is no better feeling than destroying a long-held limiting belief and proving not just other people wrong, but yourself wrong. I was overweight and unhappy with the way that I looked for the first 23 years of my life. And this year, I finally got myself into the kind of shape that I'd been dreaming about since I was a teenager. It took me five long years of successes and failures with weight loss, diets, workout plans, and there were long stretches of time where I had momentarily given up on myself, I'd given up on making progress, but I persevered and I shattered the limiting beliefs that I used to cling on to about the way that I was gonna look and feel for the rest of my life. Now, of course, the beginning is always the toughest part. It's going to be uncomfortable 
to challenge yourself again after having remained stagnant for so long, but never let yourself use that period of stagnation as an excuse for not getting better. You are still watching this video, so you probably do know that you want to make progress again, so fuck your limiting beliefs and let's get on with it. Seek that discomfort, dig into it, challenge yourself and progress will be waiting for you on the other side. You've been stuck for so long because avoiding a challenge is more comfortable than pursuing it. But always remember that growth is at the edge of your comfort zone. And when it comes to seeking discomfort, let me tell you guys the number one thing that I started practicing as an intermediate player that changed the trajectory of my guitar playing forever and allowed me to finally break out of the lost intermediate plateau. So reason number three why intermediate players get stuck is they lack good fretboard visualization. Fretboard visualization is a foundational skill that all guitar players really should be taught from the beginning. But for some reason, it's hardly ever the case that I'll come across an experienced beginner or intermediate player who actually knows what every note on the fretboard is. And I'm saying this as someone who was never taught how to memorize the notes of the fretboard in my early years as a guitarist. I only started to learn this around eight years into my own guitar playing journey. But once I learned the notes of the fretboard, like the back of my hand, it was as if endless doors opened for me as a musician. You don't truly realize just how much not knowing the notes of the fretboard can hold you back until you've learned them and reap the benefits. But I'll try my best to summarize some of the main cons of neglecting to learn the fretboard properly. Number one would be limited creative expression. Your ability to express your own unique creativity as a guitarist is massively curtailed when you're not able to effortlessly find and connect the notes that you're hearing in your head instantaneously on the fretboard. Wouldn't it be great if you could hear a phrase in your head and play it anywhere on the fretboard without having to waste time and mental energy thinking, wait, uh, which one is D sharp? Two, an irrational fear of music theory. The age old conflict between stubborn guitarists and music theory exists for many reasons, but in my opinion, one of the main issues there is that guitarists frequently fail to get hooked on learning music theory fundamentals because they can only confidently navigate a very small portion of their instrument. And so their options for applying those theory fundamentals to the guitar are extremely limited. Honestly, the nerve of some guitarists to cite music theory as the thing that stifles creativity when they've chosen to stifle their own creativity for years by neglecting to learn something as foundational as the notes of the fretboard. Number three would be limited skill development. Based on what I've already said in this video, it should come as no surprise to you that limited skill development, stagnation, is another con that you will continue to face if after watching this video, you still neglect to learn the notes of the fretboard. So going back to what I said at the start of the video about intermediates trying to learn advanced concepts before they are ready to, ultimately failing, getting disheartened and giving up on making progress, trace that back far enough and you will discover that a lack of fretboard visualization is largely to blame for this. Think of fretboard visualization as the sturdy table that all of your future potential growth as a musician rests on. If the table isn't there yet, build it. And I promise you, your progression as a guitarist will begin to skyrocket. So how do you even get started with learning the notes of the fretboard and practicing things like scales and triads effectively in all keys to build up a visual memory of the fretboard that is bulletproof? Well, if you haven't heard already, the new version of my flagship course, Bulletproof Guitar Player 2.0 Volume 1, teaches you everything you need to know about combining music theory fundamentals with fretboard visualization techniques to break through the lost intermediate plateau and unlock your true potential as a guitar player. It comes out on Friday the 24th of November and only the legends subscribed to my mailing list will be entitled to the massive Black Friday discount, which will be active for the first two weeks only. After that, it's gonna go up to full price and stay there for a long, long time. So if you're interested, you can opt in to my mailing list and grab that discount as soon as it's available by clicking the link in the video description or the pinned comment. Guys, let me know what you thought of this video. Are there other things that intermediate guitar players do or don't do that you feel hold them back from making progress that I failed to mention in this video? Leave a comment. If so, thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.